Hello and welcome back. Today I want to take a look at the Aaron snowblower and I wanted to see if I could fix the chute on it. It's really, really loose and so it turns a lot when I'm snowblowing lately. And so you should be able to do it by hand. Back here is where you also use the, the control to move it back and forth, but it's just so loose that I can move it back and forth with my hand. And even one of my viewers pointed this out to me when they were watching my videos. They said that, uh, they could see that under power, this chute was really moving around a lot. And so they mentioned to me that there's a spring adjustment underneath it that you can to adjust it. And so I took a look at it and sure enough, there is a spring here that you can use to adjust this, do clockwise to tighten this spring to hold this tighter. And you can go the other direction with it to loosen it. And it's a 9 16 uh, bolt. And so I've got a 9 16 ratchet here. And so, we put it on there the right way. If I tighten this, we should be able to uh, make this not so loose anymore. The whole thing's turning on me as I'm doing this. Let's go over on this side of it. And get to it right there. Actually, that looks like it's loosening it. So we're gonna go all the way the other way with tighten this up. Now it's getting tight. That spring is getting much tighter on it. It's not tightening it too much. That's way too tight. So let's loosen it up back a little bit. Let's see how that is now. Can't really move it with my hand, but let's see if I can move it with the handle down here. That is so much better. It goes back and forth and it stays in place now. And I think the fact that I can't use my hand to move it means that when the snow was pushing on it, shouldn't be too bad. I can kind of move it around. Let me make it a little bit tighter here, but that's probably about it. So that is how you uh, tighten the shoot up on an Aaron snowblower. Pretty easy to do. It's got a lot more tension on it now. That's gonna work a lot better. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, give me some comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I wanna thank that viewer for helping me out with this problem I've got. We'll see you guys next time.